News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. It was a hot one today. Temperatures soared into the 90s in many Susquehanna Valley locations and even at this hour. Still pretty warm. We're taking a live look now from our Harrisburg Sky Cam out towards City Island. Seeing the uh, Senator's ballpark there. Still got the lights on. The game is now over. And for all those patrons at the game heading home at this point, with uh, some clouds in the sky, also a little bit of haze in the uh, along the horizon as well. 82 degrees, the uh, official observation picking up that haze with mostly cloudy skies, but uh, above the haze, it's pretty clear at this point. Dew points are still in the low 70s. Those have actually have come up in the last couple of hours, a sign that the humidity is also sticking around for us. It feels like 87 degrees still in Harrisburg, so definitely feeling the warmth at this hour. 81 degrees in Lancaster right now, Lebanon down into the mid-70s, same story as go up into around Sealands Grove at 74, 83 degrees in and around the Chambersburg area. Now, right now, the Susquehanna Valley is seeing quiet weather. However, there is a line of some showers and thunderstorms that has formed over Pittsburgh. That's starting to head our way, but most of the information we have suggests that that line is going to fall apart as it tries to move across the mountains. It's moving away from its forcing and all of the ingredients needed to sustain it. So we're not necessarily worried about that. However, I'm keeping a stray shower in the forecast through the overnight hours. Dew points, though, region wide, very high into the 60s and 70s, and that's bringing these heat index or feels like temperatures well into the 80s. In fact, look at that number, still feels like 90 degrees in Washington, D.C. at this hour. So we will not lose the humidity, and uh, it'll stay on the warmer side of things relative to average here as we go through the overnight hours tonight under partly cloudy skies. So the News 8 Storm Team forecast keeping that isolated shower in uh, as lows drop down into the low to mid 70s. Then we'll head into tomorrow morning. Morning. Uh, temperatures to kick off the day, about 80 degrees, but quickly warming with a mixture of clouds and sunshine. Can't rule out again that stray shower chance during the morning, but uh, a slightly higher chance for a shower or thunderstorm arrives during the afternoon with the daytime heating. We also have a little frontal boundary up to the north of us that may try to spark a shower or storm, but uh, it looks like another day with hot and humid weather. Highs tomorrow in the low 90s. And speaking of the low 90s, that's what we hit today. 92 was the official high. Average high this time of the year is 86. And we were 10 degrees shy of our record of 102. 72 is the morning low, also above average. And we did not pick up any precipitation, but we did add another 90 degree day to uh, our total so far this year. So we've added uh, another one that makes seven. On average, we've had five. And last year at this time, uh, we had three. So we're more than double that. And I think by the time we hit the weekend, probably more than triple that. So again, we've got these showers right now, very active evening in the, uh, in the northern plains. And that is a system we will be watching heading into Friday. But for now, things are relatively quiet across Pennsylvania besides those showers and storms, which, as you can see on Predictor, pretty much fall apart here through the evening hours and into tonight. Tomorrow and tomorrow afternoon, watching for those isolated showers and storms to pop up. Few and far between. Most backyards are going to be staying dry. Highs tomorrow once again in the low 70s. But it looks like a more widespread chance of some showers and storms arrives on Friday as that system slides through. So we'll have to watch for that. Could be some gusty winds associated with those thunderstorms. But overall highs again near 90, 90 or 92 degrees. We stay in the 90s even into Saturday, but the humidity will begin to fall behind that system. And then look at that on Sunday, 82 for the high. That's our one day break because the humidity comes right back. The temperatures begin to rise and by the middle of next week, back up near 90 degrees once so again. This will back be into an it. official heat wave. It will. If by the time it looks like about Friday, it would make the heat wave. Saturday's just yeah. insult to injury, I think. Okay. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thanks, Matt.